section. So we got Richie Poor, as I was saying before, the, the wind was a bit iffy, but this little mirror here, Richie Poor which is in his position, locked down, locking down the watts, 600 watts, 580 watts, whatever he's doing, and just have the mirror and just looking like, like I'm looking in my mirror right now, you can't even tell. My breathing, my esophagus is all straight, my diaphragm in and out. <sighs> yeah, it, but when you go like that, all these intercostal muscles in your rib get restricted. And when you're pushing that much watts, keep going like that, you know, it's like you're basically doing freestyle as a, as a, as a cyclist, you're sort of swimming on the bike, you know, and that's, I know Richie's a good swimmer, but in my opinion, Richie, Richie Port lost the Tour de Nona this year. Look at Dale Olympic, just come and fly, that's so fucking close. He also put his hands up, on, and he's too far before the line, I feel, but, you know, when he had Jay McCarthy, kept looking back, doing the Lance look, and that's just gonna fuck up your breathing, so I would say Richie Port put in the incredible effort. That, that power was like, next level. No, no one was coming close. He sh in my opinion, he should have attacked at the start of the climb. You know, Richie Port was on such good form for two and under. He could have started maybe K into the climb and just dropped every motherfucker up there. But I don't, he, in my opinion, he didn't back himself enough. He had the brutal performance. Listen to a headwind. He's a small guy. And he, the, the Wollonga Hill suits heavier riders, especially into the headwind, because it's not that steep. And so you've got that headwind, you got, you're a bigger guy, you can power through it because you put out more power. Um, so Richie Port. The light climber just dominating, dominating everybody. You know, not on anyone's wheel when he attacked, just boom, just launched it. So Richie Poor had the best fitness, no question about that. But in my opinion, he had the wrong tactics by not I'm not sure if mirrors are UCI legal, but they should be. It's a lot safer as well. It's a lot safer instead of looking back and hitting someone's front back wheel. But uh, Richie Poor, if he just had a little mirror on there, instead of going like that or whatever, or looking around, it's fucking up your intercostal muscles, your breathing routine. There you go. $10 mirror, $20 mirror, $30 mirror, two and under could have won it, in my opinion. Let us know down below what you think. Should you look back over your shoulder, you know, all the time? I think it fucks up your breathing. Norton Summit, Tom Playford, even in the sprinters, you see the sprinters, we were just talking about then with uh, Charlie, the sprinters are like, look at, they're doing 50, 80k an hour, looking behind, seeing where the fucking sprinter is. How dangerous is that? What if you could just have your fucking mirror and go, okay, Gripple's on, you know, Viviani's on, etc. is on. That's just, it, that's just such pragmatic information there for me. But it's like, people are like, I can't put a mirror on your bike. You can't increase your performance by doing something new, Harley. You've got to follow the old school stupid fucking rules. You can't put a mirror on your bike. That's for grandmas and grandpas. One of the reasons I do so good with this mirror in bunches is I can see who's coming back in my wheel, so I can put a bit more watts in there. Or if I'm pacing someone, I can drop the watts back. The mirror is so cool. I never have to look back anymore. It's, just, it's, it's good fun as well, it's good trolling. So if you, if you are a racer, Richie Paul could have had that mirror and go, all right, motherfuckers, let's roll, let's fucking party. And he could see him in the mirror here, he could see McCarthy's face or Impey, and he could see him coming back, and he could just go, all right, let's use that as a motivational boost to boom, to you know, take up to fucking napalm level and get it fucking done. So instead of this whole looking back and having that uncertainty in the head, the mirror provides certainty. When your human brain has that certainty, then that confidence goes up, and with confidence becomes power, becomes watts per kilo, and you're just fucking launching it. So there you go. I'm pretty passionate about the mirrors. They fucking work. This is a Cat Eye BM45, not sponsored, sponsored. But uh, it is a great little product. Takes two minutes to fit. And man, it's revolutionized your whole racing. Revolutionized it. But I don't even know, is it UCI legal? I don't even know. But it's fucking safe. It's fucking logical. Bum. Oh, Yo. I'm so glad we saw okay. one. I'm so close too. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. So we're. Oh, this is Adelaide. Oh.